game changer is that 5G will use much higher frequency bands than previously thought viable for mobile broadband and other applications. Such millimeter wave signals have physical properties that are both a limitation and a strength. They tend to travel best in narrow and straight lines, and they do not go through physical objects as well. But brilliant engineers have developed new antennas that can aim and amplify signals. Now, to make this work, five, the 5G build-out is going to be very infrastructure intensive, requiring massive deployment of small cells. I'm confident that the actions will lead to a cornucopia of unanticipated, innovative uses and will generate tens of billions of dollars in economic activity. And that's damn important because it means that U.S. companies will be the first out of the gate. And that is why 5G is a national priority and stay out of the way of technological development. out of the way of technological development. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. Today's the 18th of September, 2018. Now, I'm showing you some articles. I'm showing you some info that you've already seen, but there's more. This just continues to push on. When you look at this stuff and it explains that Wi-Fi can affect the sperm count, the fertility rate of American males, and anybody that's actually swimming in a soup, no pun intended, swimming in a soup of Wi-Fi, you'll understand that this was all by design. This helps them with their depopulation. Who is them? Ironically, however, the very innovations that are making possible dramatic improvements in human well-being are also creating new problems which raise the specter of an alarming and possibly catastrophic disaster to the biosphere we live in. And herein lies the dilemma that we all face. Let me illustrate. Improved public health has caused the world's infant mortality rate to decline by 60% over the last 40 years. In the same period, the world's average life expectancy has increased from 46 years in 1950s to 63 years today. Who already knew it was going to be the Rockefellers or the Rothschilds. These people have been quacking about this for years. Their agenda is depopulation, and this is the method that they're using. Now, think about this. This is a story. There's thousands of them. You could sit here for years, for years, pulling up stories about this stuff. It's absolutely unbelievable. A 52% decline in sperm concentration and a 59% decline in If you're having sperm. fertility problems. 
Exactly. Even this lady up here is concerned about it. And I just can't help but notice that it's three minutes and six seconds long, but nothing to see here, folks. The amount of damage that these frequencies that we are submerged in is absolutely astonishing. All of the various ailments and maladies that have popped up over the years that they've been more than happy to throw a label on and then throw a prescription at, it's all by design. Because the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds are behind the medical schools now simply pushing forward pharmaceutical cures as opposed to any type of a natural cure whatsoever. They own big pharma. They own big oil. They own the global warming hoax industry. And they also own the internet as well as the 5G network. Why do you think the FCC chairman is just so dead set against testing anything to that effect? They're going to push this forward. But that's not all it does, whatsoever. And these guys right here in all their publications have been warning and telling us exactly what these things are going to be able to do. They're talking about AI being able to diagnose sicknesses in people before they get it. How will they do that? Well, AI will predict when you're going to get sick simply by looking at your DNA. You see that? World, Mobile World Live. This is not a conspiracy website. This is their website. And the information has and will continue to be right in front of people's faces, and yet they just laugh. They call it tinfoil hat. They call it nutters. They call it conspiracy theory. How is it the AI could look directly at your DNA? Well, I'll give you a hint. Exactly. The nanoparticulates they've been spraying in the atmosphere for decades now, all of us have ingested this. Barium, strontium, aluminum, and whatever else. There was a reason. There always was. These people have, they play the long game. They knew what course to take and how to implement it. It amazes me that people think that somehow six to eight years ago we were figuring out who was behind this, how they were doing it, and what they were spraying. And when they come out and explain it, people still don't believe their own lying eyes. Do you see what I'm saying? These guys have come out and completely explained what it is they're doing, and it matches identically to what we've been warning about for years now, for years but people don't want to hear it. They don't want to listen to it. They don't, they'd don't. they rather just think that this is somehow going to help people and save people from global warming. Global warming, that in fact is caused, it's caused by what it is they're doing. You can't manipulate and introduce heavy metals into the atmosphere and then juice them with electric currents and think everything's going to end well. And that's exactly what they're doing. And they simply labeled it weather change, climate change, global warming, global cooling, whatever it was, because they weren't exactly sure how this was all going to pan out. And now we watch things on the news like this. When a weather system moves in, whether it's man-made or man-manipulated, this is what we hear. Daytona Beach, all the way up to Jacksonville. This moves 20 miles to the west, and you and everyone you know are dead. All of you. Because you can't survive it. It's not possible, unless you're very, very lucky. And your kids die, too. This is their new approach. They own the mainstream media. So the fear porn the mainstream puts out about storms are now suddenly mass murderers that are coming to town and everyone needs to shelter in place or better yet, evacuate their homes and hope for the best. This is what these guys have been doing. This is what they've been working on for the longest time. And it's all coming to fruition now. AI that can read your DNA and tell you when you're sick. Well, I'll tell you what. If AI can read your DNA and tell you when you're sick, AI can also control you with electrical impulses because everyone is made of electricity, water, and minerals, exactly as the Earth, exactly as God created us.
these guys are playing God. Whether they understand it or not, whether they believe that what they're saying or not, they've been telling us, they've been warning us. This is coming. This is absolutely coming. Stay out of the way of technological development. Unlike some countries, we do not believe that we should spend the next couple of years studying what 5G should be or how it should operate. The future has a way of inventing itself. Turning innovators loose is far preferable to expecting committees and regulators to define the future. And remember, behind all the smoke and mirrors, behind all the scientific sayings, behind all the commercials, all the news reports, and all the write-ups and videos, AI is nothing more than a conduit, a full-time Ouija board, so to speak, that allows other other dimensional beings full-time contact with humans. Period. These guys are tearing the veil. These guys are giving AI the ability to reach out and touch every single solitary person on this earth simultaneously. Godlike power in Satan's domain. Alien means, you know, different. These things that we're building are not going to be people. They might be really smart, they might be really good at all sorts of different things, but they're not going to be like us. They're going to be aliens. And they're going to be, I'm sorry to say, way smarter than every single person in this room, in ways that we can't even comprehend. So this, of course, triggers a lot of alarm. One of the guys who talks about this is Elon, who uh, says things like this. Like, when you do this, beware. Because you think, just like the guy in the stories, that when you do this, you're going to put that, that, that little guy in a pentagram, and you're going to have your holy water out, and you're going to wave it at the thing, and by God, it's going to do exactly what you say, and not one thing more, but it never works out that way. So uh, this, is an, this is an attitude that some are having, this emerging alarmism about the way this is going to well, go. Well, imagine. But this, these words, demons doesn't capture the essence of what's happening here. Uh, I don't know if any of you are... Uh, they're admitting they're demons, fiction. but they're like, that doesn't the catch the essence. They're He's admitting. A famous American weird fiction author. And he exposed a, a, a view which is called cosmicism. And the essence of cosmicism is cosmic indifference. So he, what he was saying is basically, yes, there are these massively intelligent entities out there, but they're not good, they're not evil. They just don't give a shit about you, even in the slightest. That is why 5G is a national priority. Yeah.